side of the street. My partner had to freaking knock on the window several times. You put it in park and went to drive away. And I know for a fact the way you're handling yourself right now, if this was EC and someone did that to you, you'd be doing the same thing, sir. You know what? You know I'm right. You know what? I'll right? tell you what. I'll tell you what. You're starting to smirk because you no, know I'm right. No, I'll tell you what. I probably would. I know. I, I know. Would. I probably would. But I would not jam up one of your guys. What am I supposed to do? You're jamming me up. I'm not jamming you up. Yes, you I'm are. I'm processing you yes. and having your teammates come and get you. Jamming me up. Oh. I'm not jamming me up. You're jamming me up. You put my guys in a bad position. But not all drunk cops complied with the arresting officer, though, as this next one tried to flee the scene. East Cleveland SWAT detective Joe Marchin had been found intoxicated and slumped over the wheel by Ohio police. He said he's breathing. I don't know. He's breathing. See if, he, see if the door's unlocked. All right, I can't tell if it's in gear or not. All right. Police! Open the window. Open the window. Sir, open the window. Marsh had locked the doors and was unwilling to get out of the car. Then all of a sudden, he does something you wouldn't expect from a detective. Open the window. Stop. Stop. Can't reach. Stop now. Can you open the door. I can't go to get the switch yet. No! 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 no. 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 Police department, up. stop! Put your hands up right now. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! When Marche was finally handcuffed, an officer found a loaded MP7 automatic weapon in his police bag, along with several items from his personal kit. Seeing this, and the fact he's absolutely out of his mind, he's taken to the station. Once there, Marcia surprisingly has sobered up and realizes he's caught in a mess, but he won't go down without putting up a fight. Officer Trusso, you can call me Vince, okay? I'm on YC tonight. Alright? I'm gonna uncuff you. Joe, no problems, right? Oh. Man to man. Excuse me. Uh, listen to me, man, okay? I'll just stand That's up right. and I'll uncuff you, okay? Contrary to what they would do to 99% of people, they uncuffed Joe as soon as he got to the station to later interrogate him further. You're being arrested for the OVI. You put my partners in a bad position, okay? Well, I shouldn't be arrested for anything. Listen, well, you put them in a position. Then you start, then you start resisting. I didn't okay. resist anything. Okay, listen. I didn't resist anything. All right, anything. well. What, this is what we're doing. We're having some of your teammates are coming to pick the car up and everything. Joe. Okay. Listen All real, right. with due respect, sir. Listen to me. I'm going to give you respect. All right. All right. Listen to Please me. Do. You're do. wasted. You sit down. Listen. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. Sit down, Joe. Hey, Joe, sit that. down. I know. That. Sit down. That should definitely not be happening. Everybody knows a weapon is dangerous. Now imagine a dangerous weapon in the hands of a drunk person. What's more shocking is not this, but how the officers didn't retrieve the gun from him before. I can't drive around drunk and have my weapon on me. We shouldn't be able to do that, sir. 
On top of it, you have all your turnout gear, your kit in the back. Then you fuck an MP7 in I the do. back. I do. Oh, come on. Sir? I do. I'm not trying, no disrespect at all. I respect well, you. Know you. What? All right? Yeah, you, can't, you, you were passed out on my side street. Right. All right? Listen, we got your, some of your teammates are coming down to pick up your vehicle. We're going to process you, and then they're going to come here and pick you up. I need to ask you, was that your service weapon, or is that an off-duty? No, it's my, my service weapon. Your service weapon? So East Cleveland owns that? Yep. Okay. Hate to do this to you. I really I'm do. Not, I'm not doing anything. Oh, sit down. Sit down. I'm not doing sit down. Sit all right, that's fine. Sit down. No you problem. Know, you, know, you know. Sit down. You know. Sit down. You know. Joe, sit down, please. You know. Sit down. I do. I get it. But you, you put my teammates in a bad position. I, and I get I it. I put your guys in a bad position. Let's Joe, go. you okay. were passed out on the side of the street, sir. Okay. You were passed out no, over there. Listen. No, go ahead. No. Go ahead. You could talk. No, go ahead. You were passed out on the side of the street. My partner had a freaking knock on the window several times. You put it in park. And went to drive away. And I know for a fact the way you're handling yourself right now, if this was EC and someone did that to you, you'd be doing the same thing, sir. You know what? You know I'm right. You know what? I'll right? Tell you what? I'll tell you what. You're starting to smirk because you no, know I'm right. No, I'll tell you what. I probably would. I know. I, I know. Would. I probably would. But I would not jam up one of your guys. What am I supposed to do? You're jamming me up. I'm not jamming you up. Yes, you I'm are. I'm processing you and having your teammates come and get you. Jamming me up, bro. I'm not You're jamming me down. up. You're jamming me up. You put my guys in a bad position. You did. Oh, man. You did. Come on, you man. Did. You're not doing any of this? No. All right, I got to read you the form anyway, so just hold that. you read the receipt for me. I got you. Me. Nothing I can serious? do about it. I got to do my job, man. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you what. Do your job. But I'll tell you what. Come, come on the other side of the bridge. I'll do my job. We're on the same team, bro. Oh, that's that. Okay. Exactly. I gotta look out for my teammates. Absolutely. I gotta look out for my teammates. You understand me, Joe? Not only does the officer speak to him as if he was some type of mafia boss, but Detective Joe even dares threatening the officer, saying he'll do his job if he finds him in his jurisdiction. One day, I'm threatening me, dude. No, no, I'm not. I'm not threatening you. I'm, I don't f***ing want to do this, well, man. I'm, but you, I'm, I'm, I'm threatening. Now I'm threatening. Listen, come on. I don't man. want to. Hopefully there's cameras. Yes, there is cameras. Oh, thank goodness. All right. I'm not threatening you at all. Marcha had his driver's license suspended and only received a 30-day suspension without pay. But is that enough for a drunk cop who's armed? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.